at Altwood Academy in Barnsley, 42% of the predominantly white children come from disadvantaged backgrounds. Watch your shoe legs, come here. And educators here are unsurprised by the findings that the academic performance of white working class children is low compared to poor children from other ethnicities. We've seen great evidence, for example, that newcomer, newcomers to the country, the optimism that they come with, can often see education as the root out of poverty. But for too many communities that are established, they don't see that same level of importance behind education. So we think it's, um, the, it's not just poverty. It's, it's about geography. It's about the jobs, the, 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 the economy in the area. Poor white children on free school meals do badly throughout primary into secondary school. And the impact on outcomes is dramatic. For example, 73% of Chinese pupils on free school meals get into higher education. With black African kids from lower incomes, it's 59%. And black Caribbean, it's half that at 32%. But with white children from the same low-income bracket, it's half again. Just 16% get into higher education. The report authors conclude that policies should be directed towards helping this group and controversially also say the term white privilege shouldn't be used as it contributes to what they call systemic neglect of white working class children. The concept of white privilege is entirely wrong headed. It's wrong headed because it implies collective guilt when it should be in the individuals who are responsible for acts of racism. He's really saying to the single parent who might live in a small bedsit in a, uh, in, a, in a flat in my constituency of Harlow that she automatically is uh, someone of white privilege. I mean, this is why this has got to be stopped. But others argue that the issues facing ethnic groups shouldn't even be a factor in the question of how to lift the attainment of white school children. It seems more like a culture war bomb than an actual desire to create betterment within our society. For example, white working class people are not an ethnic group. And throughout the whole report, it refers to white working class people as an ethnic group. They are an economically challenged section of an ethnic group, which is white people. And one of the problems that we have is that these debates are always predicated upon the fallacy, which is white working class people versus ethnic minorities. See you tomorrow. It all plays into the politics of race and left behind communities. The government says it is levelling up, but also that as the largest group, white disadvantaged children benefit most from schemes such as the pupil premium. Jason Farrell, Sky News.